flagship device and in this video we're going to do the unboxing and show you all the contents that you get in the retail package this is not a review video this is just an unboxing hand and hands-on video so we will be talking about its box contents and about its features so as you can see it comes with this 24 megapixel clearer selfie camera and the design looks like it has this uh, bezel-less display then you get a clear shot clear moment some other information mentioned over here and this is the SAR value if you want to see it's 1.180 and 0.727 for head and body respectively the MRP mentioned is 21,990 so you can expect it around 20,000 maybe they'll price it at 19999 so let's unbox it and let's see what all contents you get in the box and then we will be talking about its features so there we go this is the Vivo V7 Plus smartphone let me just take it out and it has this metal construction with Vivo branding over here we will be uh, showing you the display and everything in a minute but it seems like there is a screen protector already applied on the display uh, this was just a protective film or a screen protector if it was a screen protector we accidentally uh, took it out so let's check the other contents present in the box here you get a sim ejector pin and here you can see it comes with this dedicated slot it seems a micro sd card slot and two sim card slots so that will be a good thing then you have vivo 1716 which is the model number quick start guide and some product information a clear case as well this is the charging adapter and here you can see it has an output rating of 2 amp at 5 volts a standard uh, usb to micro usb data cable it comes with this micro usb port on the bottom side and finally earphones which look like standard earphones nothing fancy so these are the contents that you will get if you order vivo v7 plus smartphone so this is the vivo v7 plus smartphone talking first about the design and build quality the smartphone looks really beautiful in the front you get this full view display which looks really nice now this is an 18 is to 9 display and it is almost bezel less and uh, this is not a touch panel this is the part of display this area the touch bar area so the display looks really good on this uh, smartphone you get this 16 megapixel back shooter with LED flash on the back along with a fingerprint sensor as you can see then you have this vivo branding on the right side you have volume rocker and power key on the top you don't have any ports or buttons and on the bottom side you have a micro usb port along with speaker outlet and a 3.5 mm audio jack the in-hand feel of the device is really nice it does not feel very heavy and even though it comes with this 5.99 inch which is nearly a 6 inch display it does not feel uh, really big in hand to give you an idea this is a 5.5 inch smartphone this is a 6 inch smartphone so the uh, display size is big but the overall dimensions is not really big and it's not very heavy to hold now let's talk about the display so the display is big the display is this nearly bezel-less display but this is a 720p display the resolution is 720 into 1440 pixels and this could have been better we have seen devices like lg q6 which offers you a higher resolution display again this is available for offline market but if a full hd display was there it could have been a much better deal for the users now let's talk about the hardware and the software part the phone is being powered by a snapdragon 450 processor and it scores around 59,000 plus in the N22 benchmark. And here are the detailed specifications. It is running on Android 7.1.2, which is the latest Android version out of the box, along with some modifications or custom UI by the company. It has a Adreno 506 GPU in it, 4 GB of RAM, 64 GB of storage. And here are the list of sensors. So you get all the major sensors like accelerometer, gravity sensors, gyroscope. Then you have light sensor as well, magnetic field sensor, proximity, step counter, step detector, significant motion, etc. So you have all the major sensors and Snapdragon 450 is a capable processor. It can handle day-to-day -day applications and even heavy multitasking without any issues. As far as the gaming is concerned, we believe the device will be able to handle games like Asphalt 8 and Modern Compact. 
uh, combat uh, five without any issues but again we will be doing those tests later on but finally a lot of users were asking that vivo should come up with a snapdragon device this is their snapdragon 450 smartphone has 4 gb of ram and 64 gb of storage now coming to the main highlight of the phone the camera the phone comes with this 24 megapixel front facing camera with moonlight uh, flash as well and a 16 megapixel back camera so this is how the camera interface looks like you do have various modes like ppt professional ultra hd etc but there's an interesting stuff as well you do get this live photo option which we have seen in iphone so you can capture live live videos as well then you have panorama face beauty etc in terms of front camera as you can see you again have the live photo option which is a really good thing so here are some sample images captured using the front and the back camera so you can see the back camera works really nice but again uh, this is a live photo captured using the front camera the front camera is uh, one of the best cameras we have seen in the market the back camera is good but nowadays a lot of companies are providing a dual back camera so again this is just a single camera on the back so it could have been better if there was a depth sensor or a telephoto lens or a wide angle lens on the back side to give you those blur effects etc so let me just show you a few sample more samples so as you can see the front camera also supports group selfie option where it captures multiple images and stitches them together and you can see how good this image is so the cameras are good on this smartphone the front camera is really well it works well in normal light low light scenarios and captures good quality uh, selfies the back camera is good but considering the competition these days it could have been better if there was a dual camera which offers you more details like if, if there was an rgb plus monochrome or telephoto lens or wide angle something now let's talk about other features the fingerprint sensor on the smartphone works well without any issues you do get a 3225 mAh battery which should give you a battery life of one day with moderate to heavy usage for heavy users it might not last for an entire day due to a six inch display size but we will be testing that out very soon the phone will be available for around 20,000 indian rupees at this price point it seems to be a decent offering from the company but it still lack some features like a better display resolution uh, is not there uh, the back camera could have been better but the company have improved certain things the design looks really nice now you do get a six inch full view display here snapdragon 450 processor 3200 mAh battery fingerprint sensor and a 24 megapixel front camera so if you're someone who needs a camera and a big display to enjoy a lot of multimedia content on then this can be a good option but if you're looking at performance oriented smartphone then you do have other options available in the market that's all for this video stay tuned for more videos and we will be uploading the detailed review very soon thanks for watching have a nice day